This technique can get you out of huge trouble just about when you are getting beaten up and possibly knocked out in a second. You can turn, turn the table and make the opponent go down. In this video I'm going to share with you 100% knockout guaranteed Krav Maga technique for a street fight. Yes, it is a high level Krav Maga technique, but I feel it's very essential for beginners. I'll tell you why and let's start right now. Are you listening? Damn. Hi, my name is Edmund, I'm a Krav Maga expert. And if this is your first time here and you are into Krav Maga, martial arts, self-defense and fighting, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get our future videos. Let me tell you why it is essential, even if you are starting Krav Maga now. If you are more advanced, you should already be pretty good at this one, but if you are not, make sure you add this to your list. And that can happen with one shot. Right, the technique is spinning hammer strike. So hammer strike is hitting with the reverse part of your fist, and putting all the fist together as you should normally anyway and now you are hitting with this part hammer to the front would be basically like a hammer strike to the face of the, of the opponent or any target you can see in front of you but this is not what we are going to talk about today today i'm going to take you to a much higher level in Krav Maga and you will start spinning the action of spinning adds huge amount of power if you think about it idiots on the street uh, they use most of the time like kind of haymaker why they don't start from this position is because they are drawing a lot of power going with the hand back and then swinging it forward hugely. We can make it even stronger. If you are starting here and you will hit actually all the way around, when you spin all the way around in a rotational manner, your hit will actually accelerate so much and there will be so much power in it that you will knock anyone out. Keep the footwork simple, very, very simple. For now, what I want you to do, there are two different types of this hammer strike, but for the first one, you need to spin on the front leg. So keep your front leg attached bring your heel slightly up and then spin on that leg so your back leg ends up to the front make sure you are not walking around there's not much movement needed in terms of your footwork you are pivoting on one leg so the front leg stays attached only the heel goes slightly up and then you twist around you rotate around your right arm is rotating around and striking with a hammer horizontal hammer this part will be hitting to the face of the opponent this is more of an offensive action in this case you are the attacker at this moment and you are advancing so advancing is the first type of this hammer strike it's extremely useful and you can do it in a combination of strikes which is very confusing for the opponent to defend one of the combinations of strike which i would recommend for you to kind of automatically spin into that strike would be going would be going with a jab cross then hook and as you are rotating with a hook you are spinning and hitting with a hammer so mainly you have to kind of take into account you are missing these strikes most of the time maybe the two straight punches will actually land the person will start moving backwards a little bit but the hook is mainly to spin you around you don't really want to um, get to the target don't get me wrong if you get to the target with a hook and all these punches don't spin and just continue your action that uh, that spin in action is not necessary anymore because you are landing on the other hand when you throw two straight punches and you are going for a hook but the person is stepping back then you are taking practically a step because you're pivoting on the front foot will take you a step forward and with a step forward of course you are catching up with the opponent i've seen much smaller people knocking big people out with this technique the use for this technique also can be hugely helpful when you are going with a roundhouse let's say and you miss the roundhouse because the opponent is stepping back step back for a second and now he's coming back now your back is turned towards the opponent better spin with a hammer otherwise you are not clearing the field behind you and it's a possibility once you come back to face the opponent you will face his fist as i'm doing a roundhouse kick if i missed it and i'm feeling like i'm spinning anyway i'm extending the forearm extending the hammer and clearing the field behind me if the opponent decides to step forward that's a bad day for him if he didn't decide to step forward at least the field is clear and when i'm coming back with my face to face the opponent I know I'm safe. Okay, this is very useful. It's an offensive action. Now you were attacking the, the attacker. But now let's think about even more important part. So imagine you are under attack and there are lots of punches flying towards your face and you decided to cover yourself, shoulder up, you covered yourself and you are trying to kind of avoid another punch to your face. Very good option and very, very good decision. But what do you do with that? Um, if someone is overwhelming you, there's not much chance you can recover unless you know some techniques to, to recover and one of them is the spinning hammer so what i want you to think of now is imagine lots of punches coming towards you and the person that is actually closing the distance and coming closer and closer and punching you now you are covering it's a very natural response very good in a way at least you are not knocked out that's a good good thing but now you are covering and, and at this position when you are covering here 
what's important is to to recover from that position if you don't recover you'll get knocked out sooner or later the, the person will win against you if you know some recovery techniques you will probably make the table turn around and you'll strike the opponent so in my opinion one of the best recovery techniques is the spinning hammer but in this case you are doing it in retreat so you're not advancing but retreating in this case contrary to the advancing hammer strike now you will, you will be spinning on the back leg so you are turning away from the opponent from the possible punches to your face and the your opponent is getting closer and closer to your back you are trying to escape from the possible punches to your face and at this time you are spinning on the back foot so you're taking practically a step away from the opponent at the same time i want you to swing the hammer around so you clear the field behind you and a very big possibility is that will land on the chin of the opponent especially if you think about it most people don't punch properly which means the shoulder is not covering the chin and in that case they are uncovered hugely so you can capitalize on this and hit them exactly where it needs to be hit if you connect with this technique i can guarantee to you this is a knockout punch and if you connect it of course you can start turning face to face the opponent and you are safe otherwise if you turn without the spinning hammer most likely you'll get knocked out because the opponent is ready he can see you all the time and you are spinning without actually seeing him again like everything in Krav Maga you should be efficient and the movement should be minimized to what you need so don't start walking around in the seven type of steps you just need one spin on one leg so pivoting on, on one leg either if you are advancing you're spinning and pivoting on the front leg so heel up a little bit the front heel up and then pivot on that leg if you are retreating you are being attacked and you are covering then you are taking a step back practically you are pivoting on the back leg so don't over complicate things practice on the front foot on the advance and then practice on the retreat side and don't complicate yourself once you've got the footwork done well then pay attention to the upper body and add the hammer strike one more very important tip as i mentioned most people are punching with the shoulders down and chin up that's a big mistake and it equally applies to you if you are spinning with a hammer strike and your chin is up and your shoulder is down despite the technique being great you will screw it up and what can happen they might block your hammer and you'll get punched perfectly in the jaw and just if you didn't know this is a knockout button here if someone touches that strong enough you are going down so make sure as you are spinning your chin is being covered with the shoulder your head is down your chin is down and by down i mean relax your muscles at the back of your neck and lean it forward don't think of putting the chin close to your chest just like that because it's physically impossible so basically relax your neck muscles relax that look at your shoes then look up without moving your head up that's one of the easiest way to actually get that right so look at your shoes bring your eyes up but don't move your head with your eyes because then your chin is going up and that's a bad sign you can get knocked out very easily another tip for you when the opponent is very close to you sometimes hammers can be very easily replaced with an elbow so it doesn't really matter what strikes what what you connect with it's just the the action of the spin adds a huge amount of power but if if the distance is different than you expected you are just hitting with the elbow that's totally fine one thing i have to mention to you is safety in training if you are training with your partner make sure the partner is actually aware of what you are going to do otherwise if you land that on your partners it's again 100 percent knockout guaranteed and that's a bad day for both of you because you don't want to injure your partner at all remember safety in training is the first thing so my big suggestion is take it slowly practice slowly first i would work on the footwork then upper body keep your hands up chin low and then spin with the good footwork but first of all a few times go with the footwork forward and then go with the footwork back understand the motion understand the biomechanics and then train with your partner make sure if you are in advance training that hammer strike in advance make sure your partner is actually stepping back with the pad otherwise he will get hit on the other hand if you are training that technique in the retreat make sure make sure your partner is actually going forward with the pad and close to you so you can apply that technique and, and work on it well so like everything in Krav Maga everything has to be logical and you have to think through the biomechanics by the way don't overuse spinning attacks as a go-to technique what it is mainly it's a kind of emergency technique when someone is actually overwhelming you with punches especially the one in retreat and the one in advance can be a technique when you are actually feeling like this person is pretty good when you are fighting them they, they cover well they kind of predict your movements and then suddenly you spin and and pull off something which is very surprising and unusual but like everything if you overdose it's not a good idea because people will kind of start seeing what you are doing all the time and and it's a bad idea generally to show your back too much to the opponent but if you do it well again it's 100 percent knockout guaranteed if you have any questions about krav maga techniques or self-defense techniques 
uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you stay in touch with us and you'll get more knowledge on Krav Maga and self-defense. Thanks for watching, stay safe, keep training and I'll see you in the next video.